Hello guys, Adam here from Not Toys Action Figures bringing you another Power Rangers Lightning Collection unboxing video slash review and today, wow, we have a two for one which is awesome because I actually almost finished with both of these teams, Mighty Morphin and Zeo. Perfect box for me because I need both of these figures. The Mighty Morphin pink I can't find anywhere. But I'm so happy they kind of re-released her with um, the cat head and also the Zeo, to finish off the Zeo team, or almost, I'm still waiting for the yellow Zeo. Really nice packaging, I love the pink. I, in general, I like pink, um, either way, even like pink t-shirts. Just show you the back of the box, the poses there. You can see we get the pink Zeo Ranger, the pink Mighty Morphin, and we even get the little cat figure. So I guess, without further ado, we will get them out of the box. Okay, here they both are, out of the box in their back of the box pose. Very cool looking figures. I love, I just love the Zeo Rangers. There's just something about the gold on them and uh, especially the Lightning Collection figures. They just have so much detail on them. Like when you look at the shield here, let me just move the light slightly. Look at the shield, look at just all of the inlay on there. And then of course you get it on her, on her chest, down the bell, on the legs. In comparison, the Mighty Morphin Rangers, they always just looks very clean, which I also like. Like that's just their look, they're just this, pink on white, white with the tiny bit of gold on the morpher there. Um, my morpher is unfortunately a little bit wonky, but I feel like that's the case with a lot of Mighty Morphin characters. They're a little bit wonky. Um, and yeah, and a, a tip I got after, you know, after the Dino Fury catastrophe of the head breaking off, a tip I got was to uh, warm up the figures before you play with them. So what I did was um, just took out my, my wife's hair dryer and just warm these guys up and yeah, definitely loosens them up. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because I definitely don't want to break any more figures, um, especially these guys because they're quite hard to get where I live. But no, definitely cool. Let's put them in another pose. So I managed to get him into another pose and guess what happened? The bloody thing that holds the shield on broke. So honestly, that's like in the last three days, that's two figures that something's broken. Luckily she has like a a stick on the shield that she can hold so she can still you know, can still pose with it and I hope I can just super glue this back on but what the actual F has but like it just feels especially with these female characters it just they just feel really flimsy and like you can't even have them out of the box for five minutes until one of one thing breaks like I was even warming everything up still just put it back on and crack um but yeah anyway that's annoying Maybe I can write to them and they'll send me a new one, uh, a new like shield or a shield holder because yeah. But yeah, otherwise though, they look pretty sick together. Um, I'm actually Googling Captain America and uh, Hawkeye <laughs> images to get some poses out of them. Here's one I put together with two cool looking poses. Um, yeah, let's put them in one more and we'll probably then end the episode. Okay, here are the two, both kind of kneeling down to fire. Again, took some inspiration from uh, from Hawkeye for the, the cat on the left's uh, pose there. Very cool, nice nice details on the head. Um, I like that we got two kind of, two hairstyles here. Uh, this cat is a little bit harder to show you because of my lamps in the way. But yeah, they, they, um, they have a good likeness to the actress, uh, what's it called, Kathleen Sutherland or Catherine Sutherland. Uh, use some of the effects from some of my other Zero Rangers that I got on the gun there. Makes that nice. I wanted to show the gun off to you. Might not really make sense that she got hit on the shield there. She's standing behind the other cat. But no, they're really nice figures. Really nice. Um, like I said, they do feel a bit flimsy, but I feel like that's always the case with the, the arms of the female female uh, rangers because they're just so thin. Um, and on her, she, they both have like a skirt on, which also does inhibit um, movement a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But no, they're both really nice figures. Uh, I just realized I forgot to put um, her blaster in, I think. But maybe I'll show you some of the other things that we got. So you can see that they came with the bow, the shield. The shield has an effect piece. Uh, the Zeo cat has a pistol with her. The effect is in, in, this, set, in this set. But she also comes with a, um, with a blaster. We have, uh, I, I can show you it here, what they do come with. Um, yeah, so we have both the, the other helmets. We have, both sets have two pairs of hands. So this is from uh, Mighty Morphin. They have kind of like a, a oh no, that's, sorry, that's from the other, that's from Zeo. We have a, another gripping hand, another punching hand. 
Um, this hand here actually is, is from a different range. I don't know which one, but I just used it for because she doesn't have a left gripping hand. They both come kind of with a, a chopping hand. There's an effect piece for the bow that goes onto the arrow. So you can stick that kind of like that. So it goes here. We have the zeal sword. Uh, so they do come with a nice, uh, a lot of pieces. The cat, the cat itself is actually, oh, now he's standing up. Before he was a bit of a pain to get standing up, but I loosened up his legs a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice set. And it's a shame about the shield, but I'm just glad that she can still hold it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both in some some poses with the their range, respective teams, uh, the ranges at least that I have, and then yeah, then we'll actually end the episode. So stay tuned. Oh yes, that was the intro to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yes, look how sick they all look together. I've almost almost finished the team. We are just waiting on red, and I actually did manage to find a red ranger for a reasonable price. So he is currently in the mail. Jason is in the mail. And I can't wait to add him to my team here to finally finish off the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with pink now, with yellow. Man, they look good. I can't wait to just get that dash of red in there and also maybe some green. I do have the Green Ranger already. But boom, they look sick. Let's put um, Cat in with the Zeo Rangers. At least the Zeo Rangers I have open. So here we are with the Power Rangers Zeo team. Pink is there. I do have blue already. He's uh, I haven't just haven't got around to unboxing him yet. But maybe I'm waiting for the the Wave Eleven Cogs to come with his weapon, and then I want to unbox him and put him all in the team together like this. Um, but yeah, they look pretty sick there. Uh, I'm not quite sure about um, Cat's pose. It looks a little bit funny, but uh, yeah, I was basing it off one of the box arts for one of the DVDs. Um, I also have yellow on pre-order. I don't know when she's gonna come in. She was meant to come in like March, but it got delayed and delayed so who knows when she'll come eventually i'll just get a notification that it got shipped um but yeah i'm gonna end the video there guys one little detail i did want to show you is that i love that on her feet she actually has black soles which we haven't seen so far of any of the other ranges they're all white apart from her another one of those strange um things that yeah hasbro tends to do is add details uh it's also on her on her mask is it yeah she has silver he has white, gold, and then back to silver. I'm not sure what uh, blue has. Um, but yeah, that has been my review of the Mighty Morphin Pink and Zeo Rangers. Really cool figures. It was a shame her shield broke, but not too much of a, a big deal. Like, I, I hope I can just glue it back together. Um, but yeah, it's always annoying when stuff breaks, especially with toys that you pay quite a lot of money for. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, we've nearly got two teams finished now, which I'm really excited about. Um, if you want to see more Power Ranger Lightning collection unboxings and reviews, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I also post a lot of pictures of these guys um, on my Instagram. You can follow me there at nottoysaf. Um, and yeah, make sure you leave a like. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. So what did you think of these figures? I think they're quite nice, but I'm really interested to see what you think. So make sure you leave a comment below. And if you want to see more images of the of the figures um, of both Cat, Azia, and Mighty Morphin, Pink Ranger, check out my Instagram, not toys AF. Bye bye.